Yes. See what happens. Yeah. Got anything yet? No. Nope. Yeah, they were on. Wow, that hey. was that was we're seamless. Supposed we're supposed to be there. Uh, what? <laughs> we were supposed to be. Oh, there. okay. Yeah, that was seamless. We got brother Joel. Hey, welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen. Joel, guess what time it is? What time is it? There? After a, a, a one-week hiatus, it is time for Smack and Jack Live once again from Sunny, and the sun is actually coming out. Uh, sunny Chester County. So we got a lot going on today. We got our announcements. Uh, we're going to talk about the webs, the uh, e, e, e stage thing. Joel's, e stage uh, Academy e on our website. Yes. Uh, a little bit. We got jokes, of course. We got trivia. Uh, uh, fun facts. What does that say there? <laughs> trivia facts. Time, time. We're going to do the answer things and all that. And then our ever popular birthday minute. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Grab your cup of coffee, and we will be right back. All right, here we go, brother Keith. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Wonderman. That's all they're going to clap? They're all, they're all going to... There you go. You're here, folks. <laughs> Well, wow, audience is alive. Linda and Brad are on. Uh, hey. I guess they're out of the water. It was a uh, hey, Jeannie, good to see yeah. you. And we got some. We got our audience showing up today. Our neighbors are coming in. All right. Let's hope they don't come in. Anyway, what have we got <laughs> going on today, brother Joe? All right. So, uh, welcome back. It's been a while, folks. Been yes, about it has. Two weeks. Uh, been about two weeks. Was it two weeks? We were just off one week, though. Correct. Yeah. Because yeah, we, we had our Halloween show a couple weeks ago and I tell you that was pretty neat um yeah we we're still it. getting we're still not getting reviews from it but that's what we expect to get not reviews yeah, that's right it was that's it right was, it was fun we times. had a good show uh two weeks ago our Halloween special uh so I hope everybody had a great Halloween speaking of Halloween are you wondering why I'm wearing this particular shirt here I well I, I that's Is that my cool next, that's you like my that? next question <laughs> was that your question yes what are okay you so this is uh part of the the Halloween uh, costume I had for our school. Okay. So, uh, you know, elementary school, we have the big parade. We have all the parties mm -hmm. and uh, different, the, the grade levels dress up usually as a team. So third grade does something, fourth grade team does something, fifth grade. So the special area teachers, the music, art, phys ed, guidance, library, and so forth. We were uh, members of the Guess Who game. And if you've ever played that game, that's where you have to guess the character on the other side. Okay. And I happen to be Justin, so I look like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, me. That was my character. A little angry, huh? Were yeah. you on uh, that day? So okay. I had an awesome little mustache that I made with paper. I'm sorry I don't have a picture. If there was pictures taken, I, I, I just never got those particular pictures. Let me just say I look absolutely nothing like Justin. Okay. Well, it was the thought that counts. And, uh, <laughs> and I was uh, kind of glad because he had some kind of cornea thing going on with his eye he <laughs> yes he did <laughs> let's take another look at justin there uh, oh, oh, that, oh that no that's, that's yeah that's the next seven uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Oh, mean looking guy yes yeah, he looks like so uh, that was me so the the funny part was the next day um uh the little third graders were walking out and this girl said you were you were just at i you know he's what, what she's I forget. I said, no, no, I, Mr. Lunderman was home. Uh, that was Justin out there. No, it wasn't Justin. It was you. I could tell. The gray hair gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> like the gray hair. Uh, that's great. I've never, ever had that comment uh, in my entire isn't teaching that great? career. Now it's coming out. The, the honesty of children. Yeah. It's just it's <laughs> overwhelming. All right. Oh, so that was great. Halloween. That's why I'm wearing this crazy th shirt. I'm probably never to wear it again. So I thought, you know. It's actually, it's a nice color. It's, it's got yeah, a lot of ink on it, too. Yeah, the art teacher like did a hand. nice job. Um, uh, Jamie Robertson did a nice job of making a nice question mark on it. Hand done. Not hand so done true. Okay, it with, does look um, hand done. With fabric paint. 
Okay. So this will never, this will yeah. not come off. Yeah, looks, yeah she did yeah, a great job. Nice and thick. We ought to get her to make our shirt. I was just going to say <laughs> that. Is she available to make some smack and jack stuff yeah. for us? So, uh, okay. So that was Halloween. Uh, uh, we had our... That was last week, and then, I mean, that was two weeks ago. So last week, you had your flea market. Last week, we had our Garnet Valley flea market. Yeah, and I'm happy to say that despite the fact we had a nor'easter last Saturday, it was a complete washout of a weekend. Uh, We did have our flea market. We had 101 vendors registered. We had about 15 no-shows, which is fine. What? Um, Yeah, so we still had about 75, 76 vendors there. Mm -hmm. Um, And a nice flow of shoppers. So I had, you know, again, it depends. It doesn't matter the year. I have some vendors that say today was awesome. They did great. They got either a lot of leads for their business or they, they sold a lot of stuff. And then there's somebody else says, um, there weren't any shoppers today. <laughs> it happens no matter what the weather <laughs> is. How many people? And, yeah. It, yeah. And you just can't please everybody. So yes. we did well. Um, as far as raising money for our scholarship fund, we raised about $2,000. Yeah, nice. Um, for the Garnet Valley Scholarship Fund. And again, that goes now to... It, a, a graduating senior okay um, going into education so nice. that's, that's very the nice. purpose of the flea market now how is that done is that a lottery kind of thing or a merit um kind of, or? Th- yeah I, I'm, I'm not really sure how they select that okay. um, how the association goes about that but it has to be somebody going into education right in, into college of course. um and then um you know obviously grades and okay performance and the that and everything yeah. Very good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. So, okay, well, uh, well, very good. Well done, yeah. uh, community. Bravo, bravo. Hey, don't forget to change your clocks tonight. Folks. Oh, yes. If you are listening to this live, don't forget to change your clocks. We are what? Are we? It's not spring, so we're falling, falling back. back. Yeah. So that way we get a lot, yes. a little bit more light in the morning and absolutely no light after I get Yes, and it's going to be that way. So if you're taking. Uh, uh, hey, Jeannie's on. Hey, Jeannie, what's happening? How Uncle Dave doing? Yeah, I see um, Jim's on too. Hi, Jim. Uh, you, you got caught uh, in the uh, middle. Uh, of yes, your I did. Uh, well, I, it's <laughs> very easy for me to get uh, pushed astray. Uh, if you take serotonin, is it, or whatever the thing is, uh, melanoma. It's not melanoma because <laughs> that's that's too much sun. But you know, we, people get uh, blue in the in the winter time because uh, okay. there's not enough right. sunlight. So yes. If you're one of those type of people, you got to start taking your medication starting tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I like daylight saving time because it's just a little bit more time at the end of the day. Yeah. But I understand in the morning right now, it's really dark, too. Mm, yeah. And the girl's going out to the bus stop. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's a super dark out right now. And so, uh, Yeah. Even when yeah. I get up at 1030 in the morning, you know, <laughs> it's, it's still it's pretty dark. Kind of dark. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel for the people that have to really get up. Uh, okay. Anyway, so what let's, else we Let's got, move uh, on. So yeah, we did. What, what, what was that little snippet you accidentally showed earlier? Uh, okay, so um, Brad and Lenny, you know about this. We have a, a fire pit, the propane fire bowl. Um, so, uh, you know, it's great. You sit it outside, you hook it up to your propane, you, you turn it down, you, you light it up. It's kind of like a grill, but it's a, a fire pit. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, got it out uh, a couple weeks ago. And it was all set. We had marshmallows and everything. I could not get it to light. And I uh, thought, ah. So I bought a new hose that has a regulator on it that goes, that wasn't it. That didn't do anything. So last night I finally got around to taking apart the valve. Okay. And every grill has a valve just like this. It just, this one's on the fire pit, right? right? Fire bowl. It's and, your, uh, yeah. The flame. Uh, uh, right. It, let, it passes the gas into right. the, um, what yeah. does it do? It passes gas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Right. Hold on. Hold so, on. <laughs> Not part of our joke segment, but it was. So fun. this is what I found inside the uh, the valve. I found two of these worms in there, and they had completely um, they had completely clogged up the, the the little pore for the the gas to go through. And I you know I was trying to blow through it to see if I could blow dust out of there. Uh, before I took it apart, of course, right. mm-hmm. um, and nothing happened. These two little guys had completely clogged up the in, the inside of that valve. Unbelievable. So, um, got now, how big were they? Do you think they were uh, quarter inch? Uh, yeah, they were tiny, but you know they had the goopy, they had the web, and this, that, and the other things. So. Looking at them, they look like grubs. You ever like when you? Yeah, it does look like a grub. Kick up dirt or something like yep. that, and oh, yeah. you know they eat. Uh, Although you know, grubs tend to be a whole lot bigger than that. Yeah, they're mature. Yeah, maybe it's just um, a larvae, but yeah, yeah. yeah. goodness. So, so that's something to get in there and mess so up. So if you with. have a grill that's not working properly, or um, I've I've had a grill for a long, like you know, thirty years, Ever, now, twenty yeah. years now, whatever. Um, never had a problem with them in the grill, though. As we were talking about, 
uh, you read a lot about spiders mm, making right. webs and all mm -hmm. that. Yep. The only problem I've had is in the actual burners where I could take it out and just, you know, brush it with a wire brush or something right. and get yeah, the stuff out. Up, yeah. Never had that issue hmm. before. So wow. Now, Something. I haven't tried it because, of course, last night, last night it was raining, and I didn't want to take it outside um, to light it. So, we'll, so we're still not 100% sure that it Let's touch on it next up. week because I know people are on the uh, yeah, edge of I'll their let seat. you know. Yeah. <laughs> if it works, Linda so. says, ooh. Well, yes. we'll let you know how ooh it was. Yeah. And so. if, oddly enough, if you had your, uh, your uh, uh, marshmallows in your sticks already, some countries toast their grubs. Not our country, though. Yeah. By the time you got done toasting those things, they would have disappeared. They would have become a little <laughs> Enough of the bugs. All right, let's yeah, move so, on. All right. Hey, Thanks, Barbara. Barbara. Good to see you. Glad your electricity's <laughs> back on. All right, what else we got here? So clean the fire bowl, time change. We're going to come back to some time change facts in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, but I would, did want to touch on, um, uh, let's see, two weeks ago we talked about SEO um, and making sure that our website, our smackandjack.com website. And what is SEO? Search engine optimization. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what, what I've done um, by going through the East Age Academy, um, Nigel Yates is showing us how to make sure our website is visible to the search engines. Okay. okay? So last time I showed you a little bit about cleaning out uh, pages that you don't want searchable. Okay. So you just want a few pages on your website that are searchable so that Google's not clogged up with all sorts of things, like even pages that you have nothing on. Okay. okay. So that's what we talked a little bit about last time. Today, I just want to briefly touch on um, backing up our website. Um, if you set up a website um, and you have all this stuff on there, pictures, your blog posts, this, that, and your thing, and all of a sudden your host, I don't know, shuts down, goes out of business or something, there's a glitch, and your page, your, your, your website is completely shut down, if you don't back it up, everything that you've put on that website is completely could potentially be completely gone. Lost. Wow. Right? Okay, so you want to back yeah. up your website, and I'm going to show you just kind of a, a few steps that we took um, to back up our website, and it gets backed up. Let me see if I can find it here. Screen share. It gets backed up regularly. Okay, so I log in through Bluehost. Okay, this is going in through the back door of our website. This is our administrator's login. And then we go to, um, you know, the office, the everything you need to do to run your website. And then I go to, um, where do I go to plugins here? Is that what I say? Yep, plugins. Mm -hmm. And then I go to installed plugins, okay? So if you need to install it, you just go to add new. Right now I'm gonna go to the installed plugins. And you might remember that I had to use plugins to get, um, let's see, our Facebook on there. Let's see. Okay, so here's our YouTube. That's how I can get YouTube onto okay. our our, mm -hmm. our face or our page. I have a Facebook page in here somewhere. Uh, anyway, okay. so um, the other one I want to talk about this smush here. When you load pictures up to your website, if they're if they take up a lot of room, like they're like three megabytes or something mm -hmm. like that, you want to make them as small as possible so your website loads quickly. If you have a lot of pictures or stuff on your website that takes a lot of memory mm -hmm. it's going to take a long time for it so smush automatically reduces file and image sizes okay, okay? anyway let's get to hmm. um, updraft okay updraft here is the plugin that automatically backs up everything on our web page and stores it in my Google Drive so we're going to take a quick look at this okay we go here to settings okay and you can see uh, backs up files and that in the database Okay, all that stuff is kind of confusing to me, but I just do what I'm told. <laughs> um, so all this stuff here is backed up regularly. Okay, and I could back up now, but I don't need to because it already has. If I go to settings, there it is. It backs up weekly. Um, we've done two backups so far. Uh, no, and retain this many scheduled backups. Okay, and then uh, the database backup is, is backed up daily. And you have an option of where you want that backup to go. You could do Dropbox, you could do Amazon. We send it or I send it to Google Drive. Okay. You know, it has, there's a lot of memory in Google Drive that you get for free. Okay. This plugin is free, the updraft. You, so you, you know, you load it up to your website and then it automatically backs up. Let's take a look at Google Drive here. Ah, and voila, there it is. There's <laughs> a folder right there. It says Updraft Plus. 
Okay, and there is um, all our backups. So if I click there, okay, these are all the backups that we've had um, done automatically for us okay. um, over the last few weeks. And the last one, what did we say? It was just done the other day, um, which is this one here. The second, okay, automatically it was backed up on the second. So that means if Bluehost goes down um, and I need to change hosts or something, I have it all right here. Now the question is, how do you load it back up to a website? <laughs> that answer, you don't know that I don't yet. know that answer right now. <laughs> so Maybe you won't ever have to know that. Hopefully I will yeah. not need to know, but just again, if something happens, I have all that information already backed up. Very good. Okay? And you always keep two uh, backups. Back up. Well, right now everything is backed up to Google Drive. Um, to be super safe, we should have two backups and download it to our computer. So oh, I, I meant uh, to like they have the files in the database. Yes. Yes. Yeah, all that gets backed up automatically. Okay. Okay. So everything you put up there and then everything that comes with the yeast stage package is already backed up. Okay. Okay. So a little confusing. Trust me, if you go through the each stage academy program and just do what Nigel tells you to do. Okay. You know, sometimes it's like driving a car. You don't have to understand how that engine works. <laughs> just like who knows how, how an engine works. Right. You know that when you put the key in or push the button now to start it's it. It's gonna work. You know how to use the gas pedal and the steering wheel and hopefully the brake. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't need to know much else about driving a car. Right. Same thing about website. You just kind of do what you're told to do, follow directions and uh, this stuff works for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, sounds good. All right, so Very that's good. all we have Very for that. Okay. Yay! Can we get a <laughs> round of applause there? Is everybody still right. awake yes. out there? Yeah, look like good to see you all. Good to see you all melatonin. Yes, yes, uh, we got a couple of mo melatonin. That's what we need to keep Terry us happy. Terry says that too. Thanks, Terry, for being yes. here. Um, okay, are we ready for jokes? I'm ready. We are ready for jokes. All right, let's wake up here, folks. Now, I have to say, we're coming from the Jokopedia again today. Okay, over here. Joke back Pedia. onto the Jokopedia. Uh, so these are going to be fantastic, almost as good as last week's jokes, or okay. the Halloween jokes. I got to say, now, you ran them, if, if anybody saw that, you ran that little snippet of it during the yes. week. Uh, at Halloween or just right around Yeah, right, Halloween. right around, like... And I saw it. I got to tell you, they were good. They were good jokes. I don't know what was on my head. We're still not quite sure, but we think it was Halloween related. It looked like but a those blob of sorts. Jokes, it was a really good segment, Joel. So uh, thanks for that. Okay? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can outdo ourselves today. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Joke number one. What did one raspberry say to the other? What? Look at the jam you got us into. <laughs> <laughs> Predictable but funny. <laughs> All right. Joke number two. If you eat three quarters of a pie, what do you have? What? An angry parent. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. A right. indigestion. Why didn't the prawn share his dessert? Why? He was shellfish. <laughs> shellfish. I have a hard time saying shellfish. Shellfish, it is. Yeah, it's, it's shellfish. Okay. We yeah, got two more. Two more just as good as those two. <laughs> Or those three. Promise? It was. Yes. Why is monastery food so greasy? Why? It's all cooked by friars. <laughs> good. good, good, good. All right, last one, folks. Last one. Do not sip your coffee yet because you'll end up spitting it out onto your device. All right, here we go. Did you hear the one about the compulsive liar sandwich? No, oddly enough. It was full of bologna. <laughs> oh, I get it. Impulsive liar sandwich. Joke. All right. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Joke media, folks. <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> they weren't quite as good as last week, but you know what? Sometimes uh, it's hard to out you know, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 flow. Right, right. right. Flow. Up so, and down. Uh, the, yes, yes. The joke world. So. All right, what we got All next? Right, very here, good. Uh, we got some trivia. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to do some trivia? Yeah, let's do trivia. Gonna, yeah. Some, uh, I still, what does this say? Does that say time? Facts. Time. Time. Because of the time change. Right? Exactly, yeah. And then we're going to get back Even to Even if answers. you were wearing your glasses, you probably couldn't figure that no, out. No, because it looks like it's a T and it's something with a dot on it. Oh, yeah. Time. That would, that would be nice. All right. <laughs> trivia. All right, let's see what we got for trivia this week, Joel. Okay, are we ready for our trivia, folks? Here we go. A little bit of music. Do we get music on this one? There we go. There's our trivia music. Okay, <clears throat> so, all right. First of the day, trivia. What 
King of Golf lent his name to a mixture of ice, tea, and lemonade. Oh, I know that one. What King of Golf? Okay, moving on. Which actor played Freddie Mercury in the 2018 film Bohemian Rhapsody? Mm -hmm. Now, I know that film, but it's it's almost like it happened 10 years ago. <laughs> as, as a question for you. Yeah, it is kind you of know? weird. I mean, is it's it like even out like yet? Right now. Yeah. yeah, I know. What two sisters faced each other in the finals of the French Open, Wimbledon, and U.S. Open in 2002? Oh, I know that I, too. I think I know that one. In which Asian country is the city of Chiang Mai located? Chiang Mai? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't pronounce that. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. okay, we'll move on. A poke bowl is a diced raw fish dish that originated in which U.S. state? Oh, I think mm. you got a good answer for that one. Okay. Whose dress was dried like jerky for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Very interesting. Wow. Yeah, it's tough questions this week. What is the name of the Las Vegas professional ice hockey team that began play in 2017-2018 NHL season? And, by the way, went to the Stanley Cup Finals last year. Oh, okay. I guess in, you know. In which Disney film do two cats sing the Siamese cat song? All right, what late Enter the Dragon Star would have been age 32 at the film's Hong Kong premiere? Okay. And last one, notorious Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar died in a shootout in what city? Okay, mm. all right, let's go through them real quickly. King, Goff, uh, King of Golf lent his name to Ice Tea and Lemonade. Who, which actor played Freddie Mercury in the film that's out this year? What two sisters face each other in a whole lot of tennis matches? In which Asian country the, the city of whatever that says is located? Chiang Mai. There you go. Good. Poke bowls from what state? Whose dress is dried like jerky for a rock and roll <laughs> hall of fame? What is the name of the Las Vegas hockey team? What Disney film do we have? The Siamese Cat Song. What late Enter the Dragon Star would have been 32 at the film's premiere? Notorious Colombian drug lord Pablo died where? Okay, so go ahead and type in your answers for okay. us. I got a couple. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of them. Okay, so. cool. I, I think I might have a few of them too. We'll yeah. leave that right about there. Let's yep. talk a Alrighty. little bit about time facts. So, uh, I guess about changing in time and uh, time, well, saving time and all that kind of stuff. And uh, um, some I didn't realize exactly like how standard time came to be. Okay. Okay. So I did a little research on this, which anybody can do. So I'm not going to tell you a whole lot. But um, standard time kind of came about because of the railroads and, um, and communication, basically. So back in the 1800s, up till like the 1880s or so, every town, every city had its own clock and its own idea of what 12 o'clock was. Wow. Which Boy. became a real issue with the railroads. When you started traveling, Okay, yeah. so before that time, it didn't really matter because you rode horse and buggy to wherever. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you, you got there whenever. And it didn't matter right. if their clock was a half hour, an hour different than your clock, you know? Right. Um, so I guess you just kind of set your time wherever you went to the new time wow. when you showed up. So but that started to become an issue with uh, train travel, uh, communications and so forth, you know, with they put up, you know, telephone lines, like, you know, whatever those lines were mm -hmm. at that time. And then when a train left the station here, it needed to be the same time getting to the next station as far as, right. you know. So anyway, so it wasn't until the 1800s that uh, it actually kind of came through England. What's, what's a Greenwich, uh, right. Greenwich Mean Time Greenwich, is yep. where they set the actual time. And then it started kind of permeating throughout, um, you know, the UK and the United States as far as making making a concrete time and then establishing the time zones there after that. Okay. Uh, so do a little research on it. It's kind of interesting. We're not going to talk a whole lot more about that, but um, one of the one of the dates is like 19 uh, I forget where it was where they you know signed like okay, so 1918 Interstate Commerce Authority to establish limits Congress gave the Interstate Commerce Commission authority to establish limits for U.S. time zones in 1918. And now it's the Department of Transportation that is, you know, kind of in control of the time zones. Okay. Because every now and then there are some people who, some states who want to change what zone they're in. Okay. okay? And mm -hmm. no, normally it goes westward. Uh, so they have that, like, extra time. 
Uh, but 1918 is not that long no, ago. Well, it's 100 well, years, it's 100 ago. years, 100 years yep. ago. But when was mom born? Uh, 23. Yeah. Right? So it's, we're not, we're not talking not like ago at all. 200 years ago. It's, Fra- it's established time. It's kind of bizarre, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Think about so, it. So I just want to wow. throw that out there. Um, I thought it was kind of interesting, yeah, very about interesting about all the time zones stuff and all that. Okay. So have we had enough time for our um, facts here? All right, looks like we have. I think some, so. Yeah, we, we have. Yep, we got a Barbara couple. Barbara says yeah. Palmer Williams Knights. Um, Linda says Arnold Palmer. I see a Joan Jet there. Uh, okay, well let's find huh, okay, out. Okay, that sounds. I was trying to think of whose costume would have been dried like beef jerk, but Joan Jet always wears leather, so <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. So let's, let's, let's see. Find out. Uh, where are we here? Screen share. I'm getting lost in my. Oh, we got our our audience is awake. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're there. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Okay, so let's get on to what king of golf lent his name to a mixture of iced tea and lemonade? Survey says Arnold Arnold Palmer. Palmer. Yay, good job. I think Barbara got that right. All right, good job. What happened to our clapping thing? Oh, says not now. now. There we go. Very good. Very good, Barbara. All right. Which actor played Freddie Mercury in the two... Can you shut them up? (laughs) (laughs) Freddie Mercury in the 2018 film Bohemian Rhapsody. Did anybody have this one down? No, I just saw the something about it yesterday. I don't know. Okay. Brand new guy. A kid. Rami Malik. I think Malik. Malik, I think is. Is that yeah. Rami? Yeah, Rami. Rami Malik, yeah. Hmm. English. And uh, from what little bit I've seen of it, he, he pulled it off pretty well. Good. Yeah, I, I saw um, somebody posted yesterday. It yeah. was really good. Okay, two sisters. Do we know this? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Serena and Venus Williams. That's what that's, I'm gonna that's say. That's yep. what I'm and gonna say. Up Barbara, who else is it? Venus and Serena Williams. Yeah, Yay! very good. <laughs> I got one right, folks. Very seldom do I get any of these right. Man, it all comes. It was through. either them or Sledge, and you don't know that because Sister Sledge. Sister Sledge. Yeah. They did music. They, they might have played tennis a little okay. bit. But. All right. <clears throat> so where is this city located? I'm gonna say China. Thailand. Oh, Thailand. Thailand. Yay. Okay. okay, a poke bowl is a diced raw fish that originated in which U.S. state? And you say what? I'm going to say Alaska. Raw fish? Oh, um, no. Or Hawaii. Alaska, Hawaii. I'll say mean. Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Yeah. Wow, that, right. Just Bravo. as I'm saying Alaska, I was like, eh, maybe. Right. Good job, right. Keith. Okay. All right. Whose dress is dry like turkey or jerky? <laughs> or turkey or whatever. <laughs> the Rock and Roll uh, Fan Club says Joan Jett. Survey says Lady oh, Gaga. Wow. Gaga. Although, okay. Joan Jett. Very good guess there. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, good. I don't know what she would have worn. Well, okay. Okay. Professional ice hockey team that began play Los Angeles. No, I'm sorry. Las Vegas Knight, Golden Knights, I believe. Gold. Okay. Yeah. Now, somebody has that. Did somebody uh, have that? Yes. Yeah. Where did I see that? Uh, Barbara has it. Barbara? Knights, yes. Okay, good job. And that is correct. I already pressed the button. Okay. Woo-hoo. Yep, they went to the Stanley Cup Finals in their very first year of wow. existence. Yeah. Now, they're... my question is, that's pretty good being that they probably were swimming. <laughs> uh, how do you play ice hockey I, in, I know. In, in Vegas? Their electricity bills must yeah. be pretty high. Can't, can't in which Disney film did two cats sing the Siamese cat song? I cannot remember this one. Let's find out. Survey says... Lady in the oh, Tramp. Yeah. Okay. okay. What late Enter the Dragon Star would have been age 32 at the film's Hong Kong premiere? I have literally no idea. Bruce Lee. Bruce <laughs> Lee. Nice job, man. Nice job. Notorious Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar died in a shootout in what city? Uh, 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 I just had it. Uh, I'm going to say Bogota. That's not it. Here we go. Yep. Hmm. How do you say that? Medellin? Mm, Ma- Colombia? Medellin? M- Madel- no, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, All okay, right. well, I'm wrong. Last anyway. one, last one. What is the only. We didn't do this one. Let's find out together what okay, this one is. Right, what Dylan. is the only mammal born with horns? Let's find out. Oh. The giraffe. <laughs> I was going to say my ex. Uh, never mind. Whoa. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yay. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for participating in Very our, good. our trivia. Very good. So I think yes. that now. I think that brings us up to the birthday minute. Are we ready for the I, birthday I'm minute? ready for the birthday minute. All right, let me uh, slide me, into it. Yeah, let me get our screen a little bit bigger. It's easier to work with a bigger yeah, screen. Yeah, there we okay? go. All okay. right, birthday minute. Here we go, birthday folks. Birthday minute. 
And now it's time for the Smack and Jack Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute! Birthday Minute! <laughs> Like geese flying through here. <laughs> really? We're in the mi migration, yeah, northwest uh, migration route of the geese. Of oh, the Canada my goose. <laughs> All right, good luck, Keith. What do we got oh, on, on the sakes. Uh, well, we got a couple of celebrities this week. Adam Ant. And he was one of my, uh, <laughs> liked Adam and the Ants back in the early 80s. Yeah, I remember that guy. Uh, yeah. Remember Ant Music? Uh, born this day, 1954. Dennis Miller used to love him. It was a comedian. I was on Saturday Night Live, did the weekend update, and then for some reason, he must have hit his head. He became ultra conservative, and he's just not funny anymore. But anyway, he was born this day in 1953. Kate Capshaw, very pretty young lady. Uh, she was in Indiana Jones, remember? The, uh, the female love interest, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I believe she was married cool. to... Uh, 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 I can't even read it. What's the guy's... Uh, yeah, uh, Steven Spielberg during that time. Was not Harrison Ford. Uh, no, not Harrison Ford. Uh, born this day, 1952, Charles Bronson. Ooh. Everybody knows he was like the original tough guy. Yeah. From the Death, Death Wish yep. movies, a mm. uh, bunch of other stuff, but that was what he was uh, mainly known for. Born this day, 1920. Wow. He's been gone for a little while, so he yeah. would have been kind of, Yeah, he would have been pretty old. So Anyway, that's... Uh, that's the celebrities for this week. What do we have closer to home, Okay, Joel? closer to home on our friend list today. You got your drum set ready over yes, there? Yes, I do, yeah. All right, so. So what is today? Today is Saturday, November 3rd. Is that November right? 3rd, I'm yeah. still in October. Yeah. Well, so it still says October up yeah. here. Yeah, that, that's for me, too. Okay, so today we say happy birthday to Ed, Grace, and Mike. Happy Ooh, birthday, Happy folks. birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, guys. All right, tomorrow, nobody. Hmm. Day off. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. For, for daylight saving time ending, we have no birthdays. No, no, okay. nothing All right. Here we go. Monday the 5th, happy birthday to Greg, Kevington, and Luann. Happy birthday, guys, on Monday. Happy birthday. Tuesday on Election Day, and don't forget to vote. Uh, do we not have forget. Rachel. Happy birthday, Rachel. And on Wednesday the 7th of November, we have Brian, Gunner,